What's going on Wastelanders, Draco Invictus here with another Fallout 4 video and I am getting ready to blow out Fallout 4 and all my cloud saves and all that stuff on my Xbox so that I can reset everything but this is one of the videos that I wanted to make before I did that and this is how I made my outro video essentially that I use in uh, most all of my recorded videos and a big shout out to uh, Nasty Bones 3D uh, he did something like this inspired me to do it so a lot of this will look very similar to his as far as the initial build goes then of course I had to kind of take it off the rails and, and do my own thing but I wanted to um, at least give a shout out to him for the great inspiration uh, for this. He did like a, a huge massive skull with flame shooting out of it. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, more than I wanted to try and tackle on my poor Xbox. So, But here we are and I, the reason I'm doing this at night is because I wanted to show you guys exactly how this is set up uh, at night time. And um, basically, here's the, the backside. Not a whole lot. These I ended up not using at all. You can see I do have shells in them. But they were too close. The, ultimately, the, with the first couple times I tried doing this, uh, they were just too close to me. And uh, so I didn't want to... Uh, I did, it was just... <laughs> the fireworks were too damn close so I ended up not using them I left them here just so you guys could see them and stuff like that and basically I'm just using a couple now if I had been using these you'd see a couple more laser trip wires uh, there's one here one up there one there and then another one up there and basically that would trigger each of the four uh, cannons on each side these are all paired so this one is paired to that one and etc and so forth so these would fire off as I would hit those uh, trip wires you know a set of cannons would fire as I was backing my way up there and basically I'm not gonna do it over there yet because I do have it all set up to do it I would start at about here and I was facing this direction and I would back up in a straight line all of a sudden all those lights would come on and then I would continue backing up at a very specific pace. This took a lot of tries to get right uh, because I didn't want the outro to be too long. And so I would just back up this ramp. And for my initial testing with these cannons, as I hit these trip wires, it would set the cannons off and they would just fire off everything as I backed all the way up this ramp. So uh, keeping the building in the right frame the entire time so like I said pain in the ass so this looks like this very intricate building it's not let's this door don't need it <laughs> we can actually come right back here and uh, I used uh, multiple torches to light up each of these windows and stuff like that to give me some light and then all the rest of it is just a facade you know that's all it is but let's go upstairs and we will take a look at the insanity that is the lighting here. Now I have these all on rugs. I could have picked them all up and put them back into place. I all had them back in there, but there was really no need for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing off so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, before we do that, let's take a look. So there are uh, eight cannons down there eight mortars uh, down there eight seven seven and those are paired with seven over here and these are all running off of one tripwire which is at the base of the ramp that's up front and basically what it is is this cannon fires first and it's, it puts power to this delayed on that then fires this cannon power cannon power cannon power cannon power cannon so the the cannons were all firing in sequence and then I just made sure that I had the the same shell in mortar one over here that I had over here 
So that's it. That's uh, that's how it works. Uh, let's take a peek up here. See, I got some stuff that you don't even really notice. There are no. I even have floating uh, spotlights because you will see the spotlights in the windows when the whole thing fires off. So let's fire off the first segment, not the um, the mortars just yet, because that is just triggering this laser right here. So I'd start in this location. I was recording. I would just back up and boom, everything lights up. And see, so you do actually see the chain for that chandelier up there. So yeah, that is how I built this thing. Now, of course, the actual how of building it, it is very, very time consuming, especially dealing with all of these small light boxes here. Those were a royal pain in the ass. Um, these lights are all the colored lights. They're all sunk in. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Where are you? There you are. There you go. So you can see those are all the colored lights. They're all sunk into the floors there. Got lights over there lighting up those little alcoves. And then if we come up here again... And take a look you will see that it is just pure insanity back there and we will actually get in there and take a look because I, I'm okay with tearing this thing apart now because again everything's going to be going away but as you can see I've got all my my delayed ons firing in the right order everything's working right these are the little trim lights out at the front and I can't Actually, nope, can't squeeze through there. So when I say the trim lights, they are... Why didn't I put an entrance back here? I don't know. Again, it's all a big facade. Yeah, so the red and white lights there, those were the what I'm calling the trim lights. And then all the rest of it is just craziness. So yeah, so I'm debating, um, let's see, let's do it now, since it's dark, and then we will jump to daylight, and we'll take a look at all of the wiring in the background. So let's go ahead and turn this off, so you guys get the full effect of me backing up, and then all the cannons behind the facade firing off. so much and I know that that was probably really loud for you guys so uh, but yeah I, I'm back up here at the top of the ramp I hit this rail uh, because I knew that that would get me framed in um, appropriately you wouldn't see all the, the, the stuff in front it would just be a nice clean image to uh, box this thing all in so now that all the shells have fired off we will uh, let's uh, jump to uh, daylight hours and because I wait for no time frame, we will just go uh, game alterations, world manipulation, date and time, set our time for 12 o'clock. There we go. Nice, bright, sunny day here. And I'm actually at, uh, I'm in a little tiny corner of... Uh, uh, Spectacle Island. Matter of fact, there is the uh, the barge that had all the containers stacked on it. I wanted all that uh, the steel and stuff from those containers, so I scrapped them. All right, so now let's get in here, and I'm just gonna get rid of one of these uh, trim pieces just so I can get in here. All right, so let's hop up here, and this is the board that spells out Draco Invictus. And as you can see, I'm just using conduits, and I'm wiring. Let's get rid of the, the back face as well, so you can just see the lettering. 
back into build mode we go. So uh, get rid of this. There. So now you can see these conduits here are actually powering all of the little light boxes all the way around. And I could have done this with a lot less conduit and connectors and stuff like that, but Nasty Bones did, <clears throat> excuse me, Nasty Bones did something similar where he kind of spread them out so that this one is feeding, what, three, four boxes? This one's feeding four boxes. So the, the first conduit in this row is feeding four boxes, and it's every fifth box. So you'd have one, two, three, four. Then this goes back to the first one. And then one, two, three, four, back to the first one. And that's how this all works. And then for the letters, each letter is wired individually, and those all feed back to this. This is each letter plus exclamation points uh, on the front face. So that's why it's, uh, it's spelling that out. And then down underneath here, you can see you have the big boxes. Those are all wired together. And then the small boxes are wired in series every other one. So you can see here, this box is being fed to this box, but it's also being fed to this one and that one. So then it makes it very simple in that regard that every when this one fires off, I know that that one and every other one all the way across and down and then the same thing over on this side and of course along the front face there. So I hope that that, I hope that the insanity of wires kind of makes a little bit of sense to you guys. Uh, you can see how everything's going together. So all the big letters are feeding back to those delayed on switches back there. All the small stuff is going through all this conduit here that feeds back and then is powered by all of these switches. So you can see back here. The timing is off just a little bit and it's because I loaded in and, and I didn't reset everything. But, um, but yeah, when this is working right, then the timing is perfect. There's a, it's always like a trailing light uh, going around the, um, the Draco Invictus. So that is, and then of course, this is how I'm powering all the colored lights down below. If you guys got any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I, this was a lot of fun to figure out. And uh, once again, big shout out to uh, Nasty Bones 3D for giving me the initial um, the initial idea and a lot of tips in his video when he uh, did a video walkthrough of how he built his. And I, of course, wanted to make it my own. And uh, as well, we all should be. I mean, that's kind of why I started my channel. You know, I, hey, here's something I built. Now take it and make it your own. So, uh, so yeah, a big shout out to, to Nasty Bones. Thank you, buddy. Uh, you are a godsend and a wealth of knowledge, and I appreciate you very, very much. So, uh, with that, I'm going to wrap up here. And matter of fact, uh, we'll go ahead and close out this video by saying take care of yourselves out there, Wastelanders. This is Drake One Victus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!